Is your mutt team looking sorry? Don't trip, I got you covered. Go to my sponsor, MMO EXP, for the cheapest, fastest, and most reliable coins out there. And don't forget to use code Juju to get an extra 5% off at checkout. Link will be in the description. Yo, what's going on, y'all? Welcome back to another one. If this is the first video you're seeing of mine, I would greatly appreciate it if you could smack that sub button for me. Really helps me out, helps me grow and get pushed out to more people. Today, boys, we just got a little bit of a lineup update for the Packers theme team. I've been getting a bunch of questions asking about my chemistries, my abilities, all that stuff. So I thought I'd just take a video, go over the team, show a bunch of the players' stats in case you haven't been staying up to date with all like, you know, the videos I do for every time I get a new player. So we're gonna go over all the stats, all the chems, all the abilities. Pretty much it's gonna be a chill video like that, no gameplay or anything. So we're gonna start off right here at QB actually, and we are rocking with Brett Favre right now. Get that question all the time, why I'm not using Rodgers. And simply, to me, they're almost identical. Like they play pretty much the same, but Favre getting that gunslinger for two AP is super clutch. Allows me to run edge protector here on Brian Bulaga. So for now, we're rocking with Favre. Once Rodgers gets his MVP card, obviously I'm gonna start him because it's gonna be a gold 99, gonna be one of the best players in the game. But for now, until then, we are just rocking with Favre. So I will show his stats here real quick. Honestly, he could be getting a card soon too. I could see him definitely getting a legend or an ultimate legend if they do that down the line. This definitely won't be his final card in the game. And when he does get that next upgrade, he'll probably be my starter the rest of the year. Just like I said, cause the gunslinger for two AP, super clutch compared to Rogers where it's three. But looking at his stats here, 81 speed, 99 throw power, 91 short, 92 mid, 90 deep, 92 under pressure. So really good numbers there. He hits all the throwing thresholds, 99 throw power, 81 speed's decent. Then at running backs here, we got Aaron Jones, AJ Dillon, and Jamal Williams. Did just do a gameplay on this AJ Dillon like last week. I mean, solid card, decent backup. Definitely better than the gold that we had there. Then Aaron Jones definitely needs an upgrade. We can look at his stats real quick. I mean, at this point in the game, he's not really like great anymore. 95 speed, 97 excels decent. He does have good carrying, so I don't really have any fumbling problems with him, but he definitely needs an upgrade, like a 96, 95, somewhere in there. Really sad though, he's one of my favorite players and it's looking like we're not gonna be able to resign him this year. So that's gonna be really tough when Jonesy leaves, but you know, is what it is. AJ Dillon Quadzilla, he's up next. Absolutely love him too. So, you know, it's kind of a trade-off. Lose one of my favorite players, but AJ Dillon is really turning into one of my favorite players on the team. So having him start next year, I think he's gonna be an absolute beast. Then moving over to our wide receivers right here, we got Greg Jennings, MVS, Alan Lazard, Mark Clayton, and Devontae Adams. The fact that Devontae Adams is my wide receiver five is an absolute joke. I don't know how he wasn't in team of the year. It's super disrespectful, but you know, it is what it is. Apparently I had someone comment that they did mention that he is getting an upgrade soon. If I had to guess what that was, I would say it's gonna be the fantasy player of the year for the honors promo. But honestly, that I don't want that because I'm already gonna have to probably spend like two mil just on the Rodgers MVP LTD. Then that's gonna be another at least a mil on this Tay uh, LTD for that fantasy player of the year. So kind of sucks. My pockets are about to be hurting for sure, but at least he'll finally get his upgrade that he deserves. We're gonna take a look at Mark Clayton here actually first for the wide receivers though. Really, really nice card. You can see he's got 99 speed, 97 jump. 98 catch, 96 catch in traffic, 96 spec, 99 short, 99 mid, and a 96 deep. So really, really nice route running. It's that 99 speed, just an all around, like he does everything good. He is only 5'9 though, which I mean, honestly doesn't really matter too much in this game. But then yeah, checking out Lazard right here. Looking really, really nice. 98 speed, 97 jump, 99 catch, 95 catch in traffic. 94 spec, 99 short, 97 mid, and a 95 deep. So pretty similar to Clayton stats wise, a little bit worse, but he is 6'5", 227. So I don't know, it's kind of a toss up on 
which one you want to make is like your number one receiver. I run bunch, so they're both always on the field, but right now Lazard is the one that I'm rocking abilities on just because he's one of my favorite players in real life. So want to run abilities on him. But once Tay gets that upgrade, he's definitely going to be my like main receiver in the middle of my bunch, especially too, because he's going to get the route tag for two AP. Right now, Lazard and Clayton, it's both three, which kind of sucks there. Then like I said, we got Greg Jennings, the MBS here. The O-line's got some huge upgrades lately. We got this David Bakhtiari from the playoff promo. Greg Van Roan here who doesn't get the chem, but he did he did play for the Packers, excuse me. So if you're rocking a Packers theme team and you don't want to use this gold out in Jenkins, you can definitely pick up this Greg Van Roan and move him over to left guard. Then at center, we just got this new Corey Lindsley yesterday, actually with the team of the year promo. Hands down, this has got to be the best center in the game right now. I mean, looking at his stats, 97 speed, 99 awareness, 99 pass block, 99 pass block power, 95 pass block finesse, 96 run block, 96 run block power, and a 95 run block finesse. So just crazy, crazy numbers on him right there. Even though honestly for the O-line, like it's so inconsistent. You can have numbers like that and still get dominated by like an 84 overall like legend set piece. It's pretty fucking dumb, but you know is what it is then at right guard here we got jari evans who like i said could definitely get a legend soon once elton jenkins gets his new upgrade because i mean dude all pro or i think it was all pro second team made the pro bowl just one of the best players in the league this or best alignment in the league this year he definitely needs an upgrade like this old line is gonna be looking really really stacked then we got brian bulaga here who or bulaga i'm not gonna show his stats just because it's all lineman like no one really cares but yeah, big upgrade there too. We got that last week. Then we got this your Michael Finley right here. He's got 96 speed, 99 catch, 97 catch in traffic, 97 spec, 99 short, 99 mid, and a 73 run block. So really, really nice card there. Then backing him up, we got Jimmy Graham and then Jared Cook. Waiting on Jared Cook to get a power up, so I grabbed that new LTD for the squad, but I only use one tight end right now anyway, so it's kind of pointless to pick him up if he doesn't get the chems. Then speaking of chemistries here, I've got 56 out of 50 play fake, 55 out of 50 lockdown, 52 out of 50 Packers, 40 out of 40 sprinter, and then five out of 15 brawler. Then for my abilities here, so we're rocking a mid and elite and tight end apprentice under Michael Finley. Alan Lazard has double me, deep out elite, and then route technician. Uh, Brian Bulaga has just got edge protector, Bulaga, Bulaga, however you say it. Regardless, dude left us, so fuck you, but is what it is. Then on Aaron Jones right here, we got backfield master. Just need those extra hot routes for my scheme. Then obviously on Favre, we just got that gunslinger. So yeah, that's it for the offense. We're going to hop over to the defense now. And honestly, this defense is finally starting to look pretty nice. We really, like, all we need is just cornerback help. Kevin King, don't even get me started. If I could, I would quick sell that sorry fuck and just forget about it. But they just don't want to give me any other cornerback upgrades. So kind of stuck with his bum ass on the team. Jair, don't know how he wasn't in team of the year, but... I don't know. I'm guessing he gets a playoff card on Friday because there's still one more round of that. There's honest, there's no way they don't give him the playoff card. He had two picks, desperately needs an upgrade. So yeah, hopefully he gets that there. But then going over the rest of the defense, free safety, we got Micah Hyde, who definitely could be getting an upgrade soon. Darnell Savage, or Darnell Savage, excuse me, definitely, definitely needs an upgrade. I don't know how he hasn't had one yet. His last upgrade was the 79 Mutt Superstars. And PFF, he's ranked like a top three safety in the second half of the season. Like, really came on strong as of late. Really good player. Needs an upgrade. Then right outside linebacker, we got Ted Hendricks, who we threw on right outside linebacker Kem, so we can put him over here. Then backing him up, we did the same thing with uh, Zadarius Smith, threw on the right outside linebacker Kem. So we got him there. Middle linebackers, we got Christian Kirksey, Blake Martinez, Sam Mills, because I don't use players who don't get all, who, uh, excuse me, don't get all team chems. I don't start them. I just throw them in as backups for the chemistries. So we got him there. Then we got BJ Goodson. Doesn't get the chem, but we just have him in there for the extra lockdown chem. Then we got Ahmad Brooks here, left outside, backed up by the new Rashawn Gary. I'll show you Ahmad Brooks real quick. 
We are actually rocking abilities on him. He plays really, really good for me. He's got 95 speed and 97 excel, which is crazy for an edge rusher. 92 strength, 99 play rec, 91 block shed, 92 power move, 88 finesse. So, I mean, really, really good numbers on him there. Then over at strong safety here, we got Leroy Butler backed up by Adrian Amos. Amos could definitely begin an upgrade soon too. He had a really good year. Super underrated, honestly. Like no one really talks about him in them top safety in the league conversations, but I don't know. He's got to be up there like top five, top eight, somewhere in that range. Definitely a really good underrated player. So yeah, he should be getting an upgrade soon. Then jumping over to the cornerbacks here, we got Charles Woodson backed up by Josh Jackson. Kevin King, fuck you, dog. Don't even get me started on him. Dude, sold us the game. Did not. We're not even going to get into that right now. The other cornerback here, we got Jair, who, like I said, should be getting an upgrade this week. Then backing him up, we got Casey Hayward, who I'm really shocked doesn't have a card yet. He's only got like his 84 base elite. I thought he was going to get the Chargers LTD last Thursday, but they went with Eckler instead. We'll show Jair right here. When he gets his next upgrade, he is going to be glitchy. You can see he's already got 97 speed on a 90 overall card. So that's obviously he's going to have 99 speed and 99 excel. Great agility. He's already got that 96 man. So that will be 99. The zone will honestly probably be like 95-ish. Same with the press. So when he gets his upgrade, he's going to be super nasty. Him and Charles Woodson will be locking shit down. Then hopefully we can just get one more to put in the slot. So I can finally take Kevin King's garbage ass out the lineup. Then speaking of Charles Woodson, we'll show his stats right here. Love this card. He still plays so good for me. He's got 98 speed, 97 excel, 94 agility, 98 jump, 99 play rec, 99 man, 95 zone, and a 93 press. So, I mean, good card right there. He's not like number one in the game like when he first came out, but still a really nice card. Then on the D-line here, we got Reggie White backed up by Dean Lowry. Tyler Lancaster backed up by Leroy, or, uh, Leroy Glover. Cause like I said, I don't use those players. So we got the playoffs, Kenny Clark here, backed up by Mike Daniels, who doesn't get the cam, but just like with BJ Goodson, I'm just using them for the extra lockdown. Then at right end here, we got Julius Peppers backed up by Preston Smith. All right, then checking out Julius Peppers right here. He's got 91 speed, 93 excel, 92 strength, 96 tackle, 99 play rec. 91 block shed, 92 power move, and a 94 finesse. Still a really, really nice card there. Definitely could be getting an upgrade in the future. I'd probably say they wait till like an ultimate legend for him though. But yeah, he'll definitely be super glitchy when he gets his next upgrade. Then I guess I can show this Kenny Clark quick. I mean, he's super slow, but I mean, the rest of his stats are really nice. You see 76 speed, 88 excel, 99 strength. 96 block shed and 93 power mover nice also got 98 tackle 99 play rec so i mean decent card he's a little slow but you know it is what it is we throw inside stuff on him and he plays pretty good for me so we'll actually show the rest of my abilities here on defense so on charles woodson we just got acrobat on kenny clark like i said we got inside stuff Ahmad Brooks got edge threat, then Jair, Adrian Amos, Micah Hyde, and Kevin King all just have acrobat. I've ran that all year, just acrobat on my whole secondary, then one inside stuff, one edge threat. I don't know, I really like that combination. I always get people telling me to run man, or uh, what's called one step ahead, but I don't run enough man, especially on the Packers theme team, because our corners aren't like good enough for that. I run mostly like zone. I'll mix in some man here and there, but the Acrobat's nice, helps you get a bunch of like glitchy animations on picks. Then for my special teams here, we got Mason Crosby and JK Scott. Mason definitely deserves an upgrade. He didn't miss a kick all year. I wish they still had uh, that Football Outsiders promo. That was really nice last year to give kickers and shit upgrades. Then for the specialists here, you can pause it if you want. Not gonna really get too deep into it. Then Team Strat here, this is where you have all your Packers jerseys, the coach, stadium, all that good stuff. We actually do have Matt LaFleur maxed out, so I'm getting plus 10 lockdown and uh, play fake. Then for my playbooks here, we got Raiders offense, base 4-6 defense. As you guys should know, I do run Gun Bunch tight end, and I have ebooks out for that. So if you're looking for new offense to run, definitely go check those out. Really, really nice scheme there. Yeah, that is going to pretty much wrap it up for the video here. 
pretty much just went over the whole team all the chemistries and stuff team's looking really nice we really just need like some cornerback help could use a new running back obviously we're gonna get that aaron Rodgers, Devonte adams soon so that's gonna be really nice but yeah boys that is gonna do it for the video so if you did enjoy don't forget to hit that like button drop a sub leave a comment down below and turn the post notice on but that is gonna do it i'm gonna catch y'all in the next one peace out